Cole Galindo here with Reed Geddes. Reed, it looked like Texas was going to blow out Texas State. You look at the final score and you go, oh, that was an easy win. Now, not so much early in the game. Max Aismas was outstanding in the first half. Knocked down almost everything he shot. And then here comes Texas State fighting their way back into this game. It was a 21-point lead by the Longhorns. But in the first half, Bobcats were able to get within six. And this was a huge sequence to spark Texas State. They've been undermanned, shorthanded for most of this year. I mean, and how many times did you and I go, I didn't see this coming. Nope. And boy, they got back in the game. And a defensive letdown. And then Dylan Mitchell stepped up and started asserting himself. I thought he showed really good energy in this game. And that's what we talked about in the open. That's what Rodney Terry's hoping, hoping to see from his talented sophomore. About two Longhorns with double doubles. Dylan Mitchell, 11 and 11. Caden Shedrick, 11 and 11. You mentioned, though, the energy that Mitchell had. That disappeared from all the Longhorns in yeah, the did. second half. Stop us if you've heard this before, and then here come the Bobcats. <laughs> all right. They came out of the locker room on a tear, 9-0 run, seven out of seven shots, knocking down everything, playing with confidence, and suddenly there was belief over on the sidelines. They took a lead in this game, but the answer, the new answer, yeah. Max A. Smith. Uh, you said, who is going to take over this game? Who's going to step up and score points? And the answer was Max A. Smith. He was terrific late in this basketball game. Back-to-back 20-point -back games for him. He has a Texas career high with 26, and Longhorns won 77-58.